My name is Sai Lau. Um, I was born in California and my family and I moved to North Carolina in 1998 and we've been living in Kannapolis since 2000. Um, I graduated from my undergraduate from UNC Chapel Hill and I'm currently pursuing um, my master's degree in nutritional biochemistry um, from the Department of Nutrition at UNC Chapel Hill and I'm working here at the NRI to at the Nutrition Research Institute here in Kannapolis to, uh, to achieve that. I'm a little bit unsure right now, but I definitely uh, want to pursue something in medicine, um, whether it be um, as a family physician you know, or a doctor of some sort, or um, continue to work in, in research and uh, research and development. Um, so I'm a little unsure at the moment because I'm still have to, uh, you know, get my feelings around that as well. But that's kind of what I'm leaning toward a little bit of medicine as well. So. Um, so um, I've lived in Kannapolis um, since 2000. Um, went to A.O. Brown High School, uh, the local high school here. And my family is, is close and, you know, it's, it was exciting, an exciting time for the, for the town when they did, uh, announced that the research campus was going to be built here. And um, that, I just saw that as a, an opportunity um, because it, we don't have some, anything like, before this research campus, we didn't have anything like this uh, within the surrounding communities. And it, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for, for students, young students. And, um, just the whole community in general. I've always believed that um, what you eat has a big impact on your health. Um, but what I've also learned throughout my education here and working with Dr. Zazel is that we have different, our genetic signature per se, say our, there's uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms, which is like misspellings are in our genetic code that alter our need for certain nutrients. And so that kind of opened, opened my eyes to how complex of an issue this uh, could be. And it's just, we have a focus here about individualized nutrition. And that um, each person is an individual and they require certain uh, or different amount levels of nutrients um, and that can be kind of linked back to uh, SNPs and other things that um, have been. So right now I'm just kind of wrapping up my research so I'm writing a lot um, but before that my project focuses on um, uh, brain development so I did a lot of immunohistochemistry, which requires you to um, allow us to stain um, for a certain protein, and then it will allow us to like um, visualize that under a microscope uh, fluorescently. So um, that's why I did a lot of the time uh, when I was at the, the bench. We're, what we're doing here is, I think, very important because we're finding things about the, the human body and nutrition that's novel and new and um, to improve quality of life um, for future generations. I think we're, we're laying a good foundation, a uh, good framework um, for further research. I think there's something about change because before the NRI and the research campus. It was it was just a bill, big mill factory here, and I think we're slowly, slowly but surely kind of transitioning from, um, say, you know, factory manufacturing processing to research and development. And I think that's a big change for the community. So just be accepting of change, um, whether how big or it is or how, how small. Just just the ability to help people. Um, I think our work here will help a lot of people um, as far as maybe setting requirements and things of that nature for, for nutrients and supplements and vitamins, minerals and stuff like that. Um, so just being able to help people and I think that's 
with my knowledge that I've gained here and moving forward, I think I'll be able to, to achieve that and if I go towards medicine or um, say research and development. Um, just want to really, really thank everybody that has uh, contributed to uh, laying the foundation for the research campus, the NRI, um, and especially thank Dr. Zazo. He's very uh, innovative and his, he has spent countless hours and efforts to, to bring together this uh, research institute that we have here today. And um, just the community, they're uh, being receptive of what's been happening here. I, um, this is another thing, just another platform to uh, move our community forward. And I just wanted to really want to thank all the donors who have helped us uh, along the way. And um, I hope you guys can, uh, continue to contribute and uh, help us along.